What's going on in the gaming industry lately? The title of a triple A game losing its allure. I want to talk about that today. Now, before we get into this video, I do want to say, please don't take this the wrong way. Of course, there are a lot of games that are very successful, very popular with the gaming community that obviously have been marketed and produced and developed by the big guys, the AAA studios. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that. But you do have to ask yourself, what's going on lately? Because there's a lot of really successful games, and we're going to talk about them, that are being developed by smaller studios that are getting a lot of fanfare. And to be quite honest, the players that are playing these games are having a lot of fun. And when you cut right down to it, at the end of the day, if a game's not fun, then why bother? And hence why these games are resonating with the gaming community, because they're fun to play. So in this video, I'm going to ponder and talk about are AAA studios losing their grip on this industry because they're allowing the smaller studios to grab a piece of the pie and hence a piece of the gaming community and they're flocking to the smaller studio games in droves. And I want to talk about that today and we're going to go over some of the games that are really captivating large audiences of players that are just having fun with this game from these smaller studios. So I hope you'll join me and stick around in the discussion and we'll see you on the other side. Now I wanna talk about three games in particular. And when you head over to Steam DB and you look at how many players are playing a certain game, I can't help but notice in the top eight or nine positions of who's, what games are being played the most right now from the Steam DB perspective, okay? There are three games that I want to focus in on particularly because they do occupy th three spots in the top eight or nine positions on Steam DB. And that is Power World, which has taken the gaming community by storm where literally right now you can see here they have a 93 percent approval rating like overwhelmingly positive reviews 93 percent that's like unbelievable their all-time peak was 2.1 million players playing this game that they're in the last 24 hours, 251,000, so say 252. And right now there's 207,000 people playing this world. This game, Pal World, taking the gaming industry by storm, it is developed by Pocket Pair. And Pocket Pair is a small studio. Uh, so the CEO is Takura Mazobi. Sorry if I butchered his name. It was founded in 2016, and they're from Japan. These developers are from Japan. So small studio taking over, like unbelievable how successful this game has been. And really, if you look at these numbers, they are unbelievable. Now, that's Power World. The other one I want to talk about, and this one is recent, is Helldivers 2, which again is taking the gaming community by storm. Again, 81% approval, a very positive rating on SteamDB. Their all-time peak was nine days ago, almost half a million people playing the game. The last 24 hours, pretty steady, 431,000 was the peak. And right now there's 160,000 players playing Helldivers. Again, a small studio. This game, Helldivers 2, is from Arrowhead Game Studios, another small studio. And if we go to their Wikipedia, 
you can see they were founded in 2008. This, these are founders, are students from Sweden that created this game. Unbelievable. Again, simple philosophy, having fun, playing with yourself or with other players, kind of saving the world kind of thing. And it's not only just uh, a simplistic approach to the game, there's also complexities in the game. And the point of this video is not to dive into the game mechanics, but the point uh, is the constant themes in the games I'm about to mention. Number one is the fact that these are smaller studios with really one purpose, and that is to make a game that is fun for their player base. Um, and this game um, brings it in droves, as does Pal World. So Helldivers 2, crazy, crazy successful, just like Pal World. And then lastly, the third game that occupies one of the top spots uh, in the top eight or nine on SteamDB is a game that I'm currently immersed in, and that is Last Epoch. Now, they're... They had a huge issue with the release of their game with server stability, which was causing problems with players being able to log into the online mode. Now, they have put that in the rearview mirror. Looks like stability's, the stability of servers has gone away. So their rating, I only mention this because their rating was very high. Obviously, when the game was launched and all those issues came out, their they got review bomb and it dropped, but it's back up to 75%. Very positive reviews. Um, so this is where now players are just reviewing the game as far as I'm concerned. So the number obviously jumped back up because a lot of people are, are saying this game is a lot of fun. And from personal experience, this game is a lot of fun and delivers in so many ways. Um, but again, all-time peak. 265,000, the 24 hour peak, 226. And right now there's 166,000, if I round up, players playing it. And again, Last Epoch, the developer, 11th hour games. This game came to fruition. It all started from a Reddit post from the founder looking for people to help him develop this game uh, from a Reddit post, Kickstarter. Fast forward to today, they get away from early access to full release with the launch of Last Epoch 1.0, and bang, everybody loves the game. Everybody's having so much fun. And this is where it takes me back to the question that I asked right from the beginning. What is making these games so successful? Because when you think about it, Smaller studios. These are studios with less than 100 people. I've heard for Helldivers 2, it's one guy, one developer making the game. Like, whether or not that's true, I don't know. You guys let me know. But this is what I'm hearing. Um, again, Last Epoch, 11th Hour Games. It's this 90-man studio, 90-person studio, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is crazy. They're They're... They're beating out studios with thousands and thousands of people. Like they, these AAA studios probably have more people in one division than these games that I mentioned have in their whole company. Um, so is the allure of AAA that, because in the past, when you purchased a game, and you knew it was made from a AAA studio, that was like a seal of approval, a seal of quality, you know? Now, it you don't look at it the same way, at least I don't, because you know what it is? I think it's gotten to the point now where the player base has basically said, we just wanna play games that are fun. And I think smaller studios have one well they have many advantages they also have a lot of disadvantages but when it comes to the smaller studios first of all they're a lot more nimble and they can do things a lot quicker 
than a AAA studio. AAA studio has bureaucracy, has levels of approval, a lot of red tape, right? It's like a corporation that has 25,000 people. Um, and I use the analogy of a yacht being able to make a quick turn compared to like a small fishing boat. Obviously the smaller boat can turn and is more agile because of the size of the boat compared to a massive yacht that would literally take half an hour to make the same turn where a little boat can do it in one second, right? Now, that gives the smaller studios a lot of freedom, flexibility to change on a whim. Whereas a larger studio, a AAA studio, it takes a lot of time to get things approved and down the chain of command and back to where it can get implemented. So from that perspective, I can see how these studios, the smaller ones anyway, have an advantage. But like you would think the biggest disadvantage is the fact that the AAA studio has all the resources, all the marketing, the dollars to promote their game and product. But you can market and promote a game till you're blue in the face if it's not fun it's not going to resonate with the player base. And I would argue this is the reason why in today's world of gaming where players have so many options, they're flocking to these smaller studios because the smaller studios, I would argue, have one purpose in mind. And that purpose is let's make a game that's fun and that our players will enjoy. And that will bring in everything else. It'll bring in the money. It'll bring in the fanfare. It'll bring in the players that we need in order to make this game successful. And I would also argue that they're very receptive to the player base. And therefore, they're utilizing the information they're getting from their player base and in helping develop the game. I think those are some of the major contrasts with some of the AAA studios. Again, not every single AAA studio always drops a dud, okay? There's a lot of games that are made by the bigger studios that are very successful, but it looks like 2024, the small guy is winning. And the small guy is winning not only in creating games that is fun, but creating games that's resonating with players. So I just wanted to pay homage to that. And personally, I think this is good for everything, for everybody, sorry. I think it's good for every person that's involved in this industry. I think it's even good for the bigger studios because they're now seeing the impact and really the smaller studios are showing the bigger guys, this is what you gotta do boys and girls. This is what you have to do. You, you, It really is a simplistic approach. Make a good game that people are gonna enjoy and have fun and that has some complexity and layers to it. And you know, the expression, build it and they will come, right? And that's what I think these studios are doing. They're building a good game that is fun and the player base is flocking to it. So on a, on a grandiose statement, I think this is great for the players. It's great for the developers because they're seeing firsthand how if you make a good game, everything else follows and gets in line. So I'm super excited for all of us that like to game and play video games. The fact that this is really changing the landscape. And at the end of the day, I think it's gonna help all of us. Um, and, and it's gonna create better games. Because let me tell you, from a AAA studio perspective, they can't keep getting hit over the head and losing out to some of these smaller studios because at the end of the day, they need people playing their games in order to generate income, in order to pay all those salaries to all those people that occupy those seats at the AAA studios. We're not talking 100 people here. We're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of people that are that these AAA studios employ. And forget about that, there's also the marketing dollars that is spent with promoting AAA games. So obviously they need people to play their games. So 
my personal opinion is this is great for everybody. And at the end of the day, I think it's going to help elevate the products that are being um, developed and released uh, to us because the bar is being raised. Um, so I think it's a good thing. Let me know what you think. Um, have, are any of you playing any of the three games that I mentioned? And let me know what you think. Is the AAA kind of getting a little tarnished right now? Because, I don't know, personally myself, of the games that I've come across and I've touched from a AAA perspective, and, you know, the 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 more recent one was obviously Diablo 4, which is really in bad turmoil. But you even look at Bethesda with Starfield. Like, these are major launches that fell flat on their face like big studios big big studios and they created duds duds um and and you have these smaller studios that just hit it out of the park um so what do you think and and guys before you even say it of course there are going to be home runs hit by triple a studios no doubt about it uh they're a triple a studio for a reason obviously they've made really good games in the past so of course i would imagine they're going to be able to replicate that as well in the future so please don't take this video the wrong way but i'm just saying for the moment the little guy's winning right now so i would be i'd be very interested to hear your comments on what's happening here in early 2024 and look we have some other smaller studios smaller studios that are releasing games later on this year that are going to potentially be home runs. So this might continue down in 2024. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this topic and what you, what your opinion is on AAA Studios kind of losing a step here with uh, with these smaller studios taking uh, taking the stage in the limelight. Let me know your comments. Anyway. Let me know what you thought about the video today. I would really appreciate it. And if you find it in your heart to like, comment, and subscribe, I would really, really appreciate it as well. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.